Okay, I'm back. Wow. Hello. It's been some time, hasn't it? Um, yeah. Where do I start? Okay. I've been away for about a month now. I took a break from making videos, and the reason being because it got to a point where editing videos together and sitting and doing it kind of felt tedious and a bit of a chore. Um, as you know, I was uploading every single day, which means I was basically editing videos every single day. And I guess it got to a point where I was kind of not sick of it, but it was getting close to the point where I would be sick of it and I would just stop doing it. So I took a break. But now I'm back. I'm feeling good. And there's a few updates I'll run past everyone. And uh, this is my return to YouTube. So here we go. Okay, so content wise, Resident Evil is always going to be the main thing for the channel. I say that time and time again when I do this type of videos and I just want to reassure everyone that I haven't took a month's break and decided I'm quitting Resident Evil because it's not going to happen ever. Um, honestly, I'm glad I took my break when I did because I still follow all the news feeds and leaks and rumors and stuff even when I'm not at, you know, making videos and stuff like that. And it's been a whole lot of nothing the past couple few weeks, I should say. Um, the, I think the two things I've seen was one of them was a thing that was announced just before I took my break, which was the next gen versions of 3, 2, and 7. And then it was the release date for the TV show on Netflix. And that's it. <laughs> that's all there's been. So I didn't miss anything big, which is good. So that's fine. I'm hoping next month will give us something more, with it being the year anniversary of Village and the DLC still being something a lot of people are waiting for. Although I must say, having follow certain conversations online about the DLC. The attitude people have towards that is very different now, and that is a video I am making this week. People's thoughts on DLC and interest in the DLC has changed drastically. So, I'll be talking about that in a few days' time. So next up, in terms of the general kind of content I'll be making and other games. So, the thing with other games that are like Resident Evil is I always get a little bit concerned when I go and dip into a new game and start making videos for it because I always feel like it's not going to be as good as my Resident Evil stuff because I'm not as kind of familiar with those games as I am the Resident Evil series and you know that a lot of you might not be interested in them but that is something I kind of want to get over like personally like I want to play these games that I have sitting on my shelf or sitting installed on my hard drive that I just haven't played yet because I feel like the videos, to make the videos, it's going to be a big waste of time. I just need to get that thought out of my head. Because at the end of the day, with a lot of the games I have planned in terms of content, they are very similar to Resident Evil, so I would imagine most of you will probably like it. And let's be honest, if you're a Resident Evil fan, you're probably a big fan of the horror genre anyway. So, you know, if it's not something that takes your interest, that's fine. Maybe in a different game I play it will be. So, there is going to be a variation of games coming, of course, again, with Resident Evil being the primary content itself now you all seem to really like the lore videos i make like the backstory videos and all that kind of going over all the stuff the game doesn't really tell you and exploring more history and stuff like that any video i've made like that people really seem to like so i do want to keep doing those um, and there's still a lot to go through to be honest so i'm looking forward to doing that on top of that challenge runs and stuff like that in re games has always been something i love doing and i do want to make those type of videos as well the way I've kind of thought about it in my head is way back I made a video of me being Resident Evil Village without using the Duke. I didn't use him at all, it was a new game, and I didn't have any inventory space or any weapons upgraded. It was difficult, but I did it. But I didn't stream that or anything like that, I just kind of played it in my own time, recorded the footage, and then spoke about it in a video with the footage playing in the background and how difficult it was and what I did to kind of beat it. And I do want to do more videos like that. So I expect to see some more of those coming in you know, the few weeks to months along the line. I will probably stream some of the runs I do, but some of them I probably will just do in my own time. That way it gives me a chance to kind of step away from it for a little bit instead of doing it all in one go in one big stream. And it, it gives me time to kind of make the video as best it can be while being entertaining and informative at the same time. And on top of all that, of course, there'll be the random videos I make where we talk about different games in the series, different characters, different theories, all the original stuff that I used to make before isn't going anywhere. But those two things specifically, with the lore and the challenge runs, is something I really want to put some more kind of time into and make better. So, with all that being said, let's talk about scheduling and upload schedules and stuff like that that are going to be changing now. So as you all know, 
probably at this point anyway. Before my break, I uploaded every single day, as best I could. And I kept that going for about three to four months, and that was a lot of work. And I think that's kind of what got me, with the whole being overwhelmed with editing and stuff like that. And I don't want to do that anymore, at least for the time being. It's a lot of work. Any days off of my actual job I get, I don't really feel like I'm actually off and relaxing because I'm trying to get a video made and it kind of just takes up most of my day. Um, so I don't want to upload every single day for the time being. And to be honest, I can't give you a schedule on what days I will upload and what days I won't right now. What I can say is I'm aiming for two to three videos a week and a stream a week at least. Now the good thing about streaming is it's always going to be on a weekend. I can almost guarantee you at least one day a weekend I will be streaming and I am going to move that streaming time to later in the day for me. A lot of feedback I got from streaming before I took my break was that a lot of you were from the states and stuff like that and just didn't kind of weren't around when I did stream because it was either really early in the morning or you were at work or stuff like that so I am going to be moving my streams to when I would usually upload in the day which is around 10 p.m my time which should be a good enough time. Um, and that'll be one at least, probably two, but one at least a week as well. So three videos, two to three videos a week, and a stream at least for now. That will change eventually, but that is what I can kind of assure that I will get done right now. Sometimes there won't be three, sometimes it will just be two, but there will be a stream as well. That is the best I can do right now because I am very busy um, with work. So I don't want to kind of over work myself and just be exhausted all the time again because it sucks so that's my plan two to three videos a week and a stream but i mean yeah that's basically everything i wanted to say to be honest it's good to be back it feels good to be back and sitting in this chair and making this video i know it's not massively edited or stuff like that it is more of a ramble but um i am back now so i'll be active in discord if you haven't if you haven't joined the discord server yet i'll leave a link in the description to that you can join it and speak to all the guys in there they're all super cool i'll be active in the comments again I'll be active on YouTube in general, again. And I know while I've been gone, I've seen a steady growth of subscribers. So if some of you are new and watching this video, hello, I have not ignored you. If you have not joined the channel that has just disappeared, I have just took a break. But I am back now, making content for you guys as best I possibly can. So, there we go. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. So thank you all for waiting, and I appreciate the patience and waiting for me to come back. It should have been a couple weeks ago, but... I've just been so busy, but it, it's calmed down now again at last, so I can come back to YouTube, which is very, very nice to say. So, yeah, thank you all for coming by. Leave any comments on any ideas you want to see in the future on the channel in the comment section below. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe for more Resident Evil content and survival horror content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.